dive on in. The water's finally fine. Or at least that's according to the city's Waterfront Partnership, a nonprofit organization on a mission to create a swimmable, fishable inner harbor. In recent years, their more than $1 billion cleanup efforts bringing wildlife back to the waters. And now they're looking for people to join in. So much good work has been done to clean up the water of the harbor. A month from today, the harbor's first public swim event in four decades scheduled to take place. You can swim in this harbor. It is safe. But that safety met with skepticism. It could be diseases, parasites, leeches. That water is not suitable for that, for human contact, in my opinion. And coming just with a catch. On their website, the Waterfront Partnership specifying you should only swim on dry weather days. The reason, cracked and leaky pipes in Baltimore's aging sewage system often overflow when it rains. The city's interactive sewage overflow map showing more than 11 million gallons of sewage water flushed into the harbor last month alone. So there's a lot of nasty stuff lurking in that sewage. Alice Volpitta is the lead water quality scientist for Blue Water Baltimore, a local environmental watchdog group. And unfortunately, in Baltimore, we have a lot of sewage contamination. It's not every day, but it's often enough to give me pause. While the city touts a 97% reduction in sewage overflow since 2018, Volpitta and her team unable to fact check due to the state not updating its public database in over a year. And this data, it is taxpayer generated. It exists and people should be able to quickly and easily access it. Additionally, the Waterfront Partnership taking a seven month break from water quality testing as Blue Water Baltimore continues to test weekly. Over the course of the past 13 years since we started monitoring, bacteria levels are moving in the right direction. But getting better doesn't necessarily mean good enough. And so at many of our stations, water quality is still too contaminated for swimming a lot of the time. Taking matters into our own hands. Yesterday, Fox 45 collecting water samples at two separate locations. The first, the Canton Waterfront, a popular boating and fishing destination. And from Fells Point, this is the exact location that the mayor and several residents will be diving in this June. Samples we handed off to Fountain Valley, a small state certified water testing lab in Westminster. We use coal alert methods here. Over the last 24 hours, their specialists hard at work. And within the next hour, will tell us whether or not they believe the harbor is truly safe to swim in. Stay tuned for the results. Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.